Hello and welcome to Spill a Tea with Alicia G. And I have one special host we interview each and every week. Guys, you haven't all social media Alicia G World. Do me one quick little favor. Smash that subscribe button. Give me a follow. You'll love it. We have fun, awesome, just content that'll make you say, oh my, boom, boom, baby. That's right, guys. Get ready to spill some tea with me, Alicia G. And that one special guest and his name today, well, oh, he's... He's one of a kind. He's talented. He's a singer. He's a rapper. He's, 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 he's a weed Jesus. Yes, you heard me right. And you'll understand why we call him weed Jesus. He's also a top uh, streamer here live on Beagle Live. So guys, once again, smash the subscribe button. You won't want to miss it here on my YouTube channel. And all Alicia G World, www.aliciagworld.com. Links to all social media merchandise music and more so uh guys grab a snack sit back relax and uh what else let's spill some tea boom boom baby let's do it i'm good Mr. looking with a bad Weed bitch Jesus. never average like whoa at least you? G up in the game i'm like what the fuck really what gone yo i'm like whoa whole oh, shit up in the motion just looking at her making me feel like hot damn I'm trying to break a bag like a kick cat because i know she be causing these emotions oh, my yeah. head Feeling like I'm lighted up dead, cause I know she got me dry dick or just looking at her. I know. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck's going on? I might try and pull a give a baby battle, like what they want to talk about. I've been trying to make it in the game, no doubt. Never give a fuck what they gon' say, cause I've been getting clout, cause my name up in their mouth. They wanna talk about me, but I don't have a damn doubt. And it's fine, but it wouldn't. I've been trying to be a G till I D-I-E, but look at her, I damn see. Lisa G World, she out here trying to rock the game, trying to take it all. Got me in a world in my head, feeling fucked up. Might just drop to the flow, like, what's happening? Like, oh shit, seeing stars. Wait, it's just her. I hope it's shooting straight for him. I might just end up right on Mars. Cause I know that she got me feeling way too high. I've been fucked up and I know she got me feeling like I'm in the sky, like, oh my goodness gracious me, what's happening? I don't know what's going on right now. I've been feeling like, oh fuck. She got me going too wild. I just want to go ahead and try and get down with you. Go ahead and make me smoke a couple bowls. But I know that I've been trying to go ahead and see you. But I know that that's what you in it, girl. So what's up? How you doing? Oh, that was lit. Boom, boom, baby. We G's in the house, y'all. The we Jesus. That was awesome. True. That was lit. I love that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? What you got going on? Jesus, y'all. Oh, you know, uh, just balling out of control, right? To uh, spill some tea with the one, the only, the wee Jesus. Well, my name's you know, Clarence, that's what we do but wee here. Jesus can come back to right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're good. That's awesome. Hey, do you want to tell everyone your social media? Oh, yeah. Fuck, what is mine? Um, I think it's like AK underscore bug God 710. And then that's my IG. It's We Jesus on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, YouTube, Pandora. Anywhere you listen to music, you can find me. We Jesus, you already know. We are here trying to function. In a junction, a junction, functioning, functioning, junctioners that function and functions and junction and junctions. And if you don't believe me, I got it on a t-shirt on a website. AKBugGuyProductions.com. I swear to God. I love that. That is lit. Boom, boom, baby. We Jesus. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Um, Okay, this would be a simple one. I mean, it's pretty clear to see. But how did you get your name? We Jesus. Just spell the T. Spill the T. I'm not even gonna lie, I got it because, like, okay, so this was like a long time ago, life has already passed, but like, weed was the only thing I never sold because I smoked it too much. <laughs> I'm just listening. I love it. Like, like, I was the person for like a long time for anything else, but like, I never really sold weed because like, I was, I was always trying to get it. Like, I've got a tattoo, hang on, I got a tattoo on my chest. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, the weed Jesus. <laughs> That's also on a hat that you can get on that website. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. But I've had that <laughs> since I was like 18. But guess how old I am if I haven't already told you. 
You haven't, but we go 21 every year here, so don't worry about age is a number. Well, I, I ask everyone, only four people have ever, only four people have ever gotten a ride on here. Hmm, you want me to guess? Ooh, it's deceiving because the beard and everything. How about everyone guess in the comments? I'm going to guess 24, 25. Any more guesses? Any more guesses? <laughs> 23? I am 22 years old. Are you really? Oh my goodness. You look so much more mature. And then when you said about all other stuff, you just, the shenanigans, I'm thinking, okay, he has to be older because you look really young. But then I'm like, wait, he sounds like he's very experienced in some things. I'm like, okay, you have to up the ante. You have yeah, to. My house just got raided by SWAT when I was like 20, so that's when I kind of stopped doing everything. And I moved out to Washington after I was done with this chick because she was kind of like being a. Um, my mama doesn't let me cuss, so um, she was being a butthead. Oh my gosh. I call people buttheads so I don't call them bitches. I mean, oops, don't tell my mom. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we, we got a wild one, boys and girls. This wasn't tea go quick here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like that little voice. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the wild Jesus. The wild, oh. wild Jesus. God bless you, my I son. did a lot of crazy stuff. It took a lot of chaos to find this piece. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh you are wild. Oh my goodness. You are next level. I just go on. I go on Bigo so I don't go outside and get arrested. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you are a trip. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, wild bad boy. Jesus in the house. Um, but how did they start calling you Jesus? Was the hair? It had to be the hair. Yeah. People have always like, I've just never, okay, I got one bad haircut when I was in high school, like, for my snowball, and then, like, I looked like a fat version of OGZ from Shoreline Mafia before he got fat, and so, like, I was, like, not down ever again to get my haircut. Okay. Because I used we to be, like, 280 pounds. What? How? Uh, what um, if I told you how I lost the weight, it wouldn't, it, I wouldn't recommend the way to do it. Uh, okay, like, we don't um, want to know. Oh, God, we don't have a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay, well, next subject. No. Uh, um, uh, how did you find Bigo? How did you find out Bigo? Well, okay, so, like, I started, so I started doing music forever ago but like recording it like two years ago right when i moved out to washington but i was trying to be on bigo at first but i kept getting banned because i kept having my shirt off and i didn't know you couldn't do that and like i was just on bigo but then i uh i was on a website for like entertainers and stuff because i do music yeah. and uh somebody from bigo sent me an email saying do you want to get paid to live stream and i was like i already live stream and i don't get paid so yes oh my gosh <laughs> why not and then i quit my like i quit my job because they fucked me over on some pay oh. and i told them if they didn't have my money i was gonna quit and so like i told my boss's wife to go fuck herself because she was like a female boss and then i fucking cut out because they suck like <laughs> My boss wasn't there, so I couldn't tell him to go fuck himself. So I had to tell one of them. Oh, and the so, like, like they needed to know I was leaving and not coming back. But at that point, I needed to make music work. And I was about to go and find another job. But then somebody from Bigo emailed me, and they are like, do you want to do this? And I was like, all right, bet. And so, basically, I was like, all right, this is what I have to do now. I'm promoting myself as a musician on here, and I'm going to get paid. This is not an option. This is a fucking, like, something I have to do. And it's what I did. That's awesome. Nice. How, how long have you been on Beagle for? Like a year and three months. Okay. That's awesome. Um, I'm not. Oh, uh, how many hours a day do you stream? 
So I, I, every time I peek, I'm like, he's still Too on. many. He's still on. He's still on. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, too, too many. Like, I'd be online probably like 12 hours out of the day, if not more. I just be like, here's my thing. My cousin stole my PlayStation for drug money, so I ain't got shit except for my phone. So, like, I just be on Bigo, and, like, when I'm not on here, I got a computer from somebody on Bigo, actually. Like, a homeboy of mine sent me a computer and a microphone when, because I was making music with just earbuds and my busted-ass phone, and somebody from Bigo sent me a bunch of stuff, and then, like, I just recently got this sound card and shit where I can do all the cool stuff. But, like, he made it to where I was actually able to, like, make music that sounded like quality. He's not even on Bigo anymore, but like he he like he got off Bigo after he did that basically. Oh, that's so sweet. See, there is good in the world. It's out there. He's got to keep digging, but it's out there. There's a lot of good. There actually is. I, there is like here's my thing like I've met some really shitty people on this app, but I've met some of the coolest people that I've ever met in my entire life. Like I've met some of them in real life. Aww. Like and some of them are fucking crazy. <laughs> but like some of them are pretty fucking cool. Oh my gosh. You know, there is no normal as Loyal Wolf AK Wild Wolf, I like to call him. The only thing that's normal is a setting on a washing machine, <laughs> as they say. No one's normal, you know. So Hey, i fuck I'm down what's up. We are here trying to function in the junction, baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, for 5K, I'll pull up on anybody on a fufu and I'll be like, hey, I've never seen a dragon before. Would you mind showing me what that is? And then once they send it, I'll be like, by the way, my name's Chad. Thanks for the dragon, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are a trip. You are a trip. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So let's let's talk about little baby weed Jesus. That sounds so wrong in so many ways. And a twist in. Like when you were like little, like growing up, were you always the bad boy in school, the partier? Like, spill the tea. That's what we want to so talk like, about. So, Thanks. like, up until like middle school, I was like the kid that got bullied and the fat kid. And like, the like, I, I was. And then, like, high school hit. And then I started doing drugs. Oh and then I started God. selling drugs. And then like I got super skinny. And like everyone wanted to be my friend. And but like then some crazy shit happened and I owed some people some money and I had to do some crazy things to get out of that. And then I got out of everything, but then I almost died. So I had to move states because people wanted to pay my friends to find my location. Oh my god, help me. Bless these sinners. Oh my god. <laughs> Bless Jesus. Now was a like it was crazy. Like, I almost died so many times, but it was, like, it was fun. I don't take none of it back. The only parts that I would take back is they, my bitch exes, but, like, even then, they made my music, so, like, that's the one thing they were good for, so, like, I fuck with them on that part. Yeah, in a sick, twisted way, I feel everything does happen for a reason. If that makes any sense, sometimes you're like, how is it Yeah, impossible? no, how that happen, exactly, twisted. like, I'm, like, I made a song about my ex when I first like started making music it got 51,000 streams on Spotify it made me so happy oh, oh my god it made me so happy it was called toxic <laughs> I love that that's awesome oh my goodness um so we're here we're spilling some tea I think the 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 tea kettle is just like bubbling it's boiling it's like ready to spill over at this point I'm so like oh my gosh this is like, I was like, I'm always excited for every interview. Don't get me wrong. But something about this one, I was just like, I was just so excited. I'm like, oh my God, it's Wade Jesus. I was so excited about this one. Oh my goodness. Man, my <laughs> life is, my life is wild. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, that's why I do be good because like, I know, I know how it, like, yes, I'm 22, but I know how it feels to like be through shit. Cause I was homeless from 14 to 17. Like, I graduated high school early, but I dropped out 26 times. 26 times? Just find it for me, okay? 26 times? Oh my gosh! Yeah, because cause I would show up for two days out of the month, and then I would do everything that I had missed, and then I would leave for another month and just go party and survive out at people's houses. And sometimes not. 
but most of the time, yeah, because my parents left because they were trying to get off a of drug. Well, my dad did, and my mom was just out doing shit, and my grandparents had to leave because they had some shit going on. My grandpa had gotten brain cancer for the third time, and they couldn't pay for the part, the house that they were in because they had gotten evicted because they were three days late on the rent. And so they had to move to Washington, but I was with a girl for like five years, basically. So like, I stayed with her, and then some shit happened. I left her, and then like, I got a DUI when I was 15, so I couldn't leave the state. Wait, 15? Yeah, I, my buddy and I, we were at a party, and we had taken a bunch of Xanax and Adderall and started drinking. And then um, my buddy was like, our, my buddy was really fucked up, like already in the head, like like bad, like he like these were his prescriptions, and like and this chick she was showing up to the party that he did not like he fell in love with and she had fucked him over big time and so like he came up to me and he was like I'm leaving right now with or without you, and it was his car, and I couldn't say like no but I was like let me drive. And then uh, I tried to get us to both stay for a little bit because, like, I wanted to be able to sober up before we left. But then he tried to fight me. And I'm like, okay, I'm 5'8", and I'm, like, 150 pounds, and he's, like, 6'3". And, like, I'm not about to fight this belligerently drunk giant man for driving when I'm also fucked up. We're just going to go. We're going to go. And then it was pouring down rain because I lived in Oregon. And then I don't know if it was a coyote or a dog, but I was trying not to wreck his car that he had got three days prior, right? And then um, I hydroplaned and I crashed into a foam pole and I knocked it over. Oh my gosh, bless you. Thoughts and prayers and blessings are with you. Oh my gosh, you are, I think you are Jesus. You keep coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh, bless you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is wild. Um, hey, bless much love happy positive over here okay tell us a fun wild fun party wild fun party story like uh a fun party story <laughs> i can't tell you that one no, i can't tell you that one not that one okay That's one. um well i mean like i could but it's kind of like I don't know, are all the heirs in this room above the age of 18, we need to make sure that right now. I hope so, they all better be. Spill the tea, let's go. All right, well like, okay, so like, I was like 17, it was my birthday, right? And mm -hmm. like, this was like, this was the, like, end of a lot of shit with my ex that I was with for five years, and she was trying to fix some shit, but it wasn't gonna work, but I was like, well, you know how you, because, like, she had cheated on me, basically, with two of my best friends. And she was trying to get back with me, and I was like, you want to know how you can get back with me? We can have a three-way. And she was like, all right, but I get to pick the chick. And I was like, all right, bet. And so I showed her a chick that I had already been talking to, right? And, like, I did a bunch of, I, I did a bunch of drugs that night. Like, I did, like, a bunch of blow and molly, and, like, I was drinking. And, like, when she said yes, oh, I made everybody leave. And we, like, we, like. Yeah, it was cool, but okay, here's my thing, like, three or four hours into it, right, I, like, my grandpa walks into the room. Keep going, I'm dying and, over here. And, uh, yeah, no, I just got two chicks on their hands and knees naked, and I turn around, and I'm just like, oh, shit! And then, like, he, like, closes the door, and I, like, I'm like, oh, oh, fuck, and I go get some water, right? And like he comes out and he's like, I'm sorry, I should have not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are wild with Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we were spilling some tea. I think we totally just shattered the cup right out of the gate. Boom, boom, baby. Oh my goodness. This is, oh my gosh, you are wild. Naughty. You're naughty wild, Jesus. Naughty. naughty, naughty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell some more stories. Spill that tea. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, I got, I got a lot of, okay, so this one's, like, kind of crazy, okay, so this is, like, it's already been talked to by the police, so, like, there's nobody who's getting, like, incriminated during this, like, okay, so, basically, I was, like, 16, right, and I was trying to 
We'll say somebody was trying to rob me for $130, basically. And I was on three tabs of acid, right? And like, I, I didn't want to go. A lot of people were telling me not to go, but I was on acid and one person said, fuck it, let's go. And I was like, fuck it, let's go. I need some money anyways. And so I'm pulling up, right? And so somebody gets out of the car and it's a face I don't like. And I got one homeboy with me standing outside the car and I get in the car and there's three more faces I don't like. And so I just, so I had, there, there was the way I would do this and there was two bags and one's real and one's baking soda. And I show you baking soda till you give me money. And then I give you real, right? And um, so basically he points a block at my head and I just spray the whole car down with bear mace, right? And then I get everybody, including myself, like my eyes are fucked. Everyone's fucked up. And then he pushes me out the car. I turn around. I can barely see, but my homeboy gets pistol whipped and he's being held on the ground at gunpoint. And then I turn around and I've got a gun in my face. And my uncle was in the military. He went to Iraq. And when he came back, he taught me how to defend myself against like weapons and body weight and shit. And like, I thought he was just trying to beat kids up. But like, no, it's like you physically need to show somebody the motions of doing that stuff so that you're able to feel what you need to do if you're in that situation. And like I blacked out and I broke this dude's wrist and I took his gun and I shot him with it. And then his buddy jumped out of the front seat and then fucking dislocated my shoulder and I dropped it. And then he dropped his wallet and then fucking they cut out and then he had to get back into a car full of bear mace with a gunshot wound. And then they tried to tell the cops that I robbed them at gunpoint when there was a video. I don't know what to say to that. Oh my God, you're Jesus. I think they keep coming back. Oh my God, bless you. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. You shocked me. Bless my sinners. Bless my no, sinners. No, thank you, bro. Oh my gosh. You are the wild uh, Jesus over here. I don't even know what to say. Oh my gosh. How about a happy fun story? Oh my gosh. Y'all, we cracked the cup over here. I need a new light. I swear it's my gimmick over here is my light. I swear to goodness. That light. Oh my goodness. I've, I've done some crazy shit. To like, but it was like, it was all because I had to like survive, you know, like, cause I was homeless. Oh my goodness. Well, bless you. Oh my goodness. How about a happy fun story? Disability, something funny. Um. Okay, so this one's like, it's wild, okay? So me and my buddies, we were all out in the woods, right? So um, slightly. a big thing for me and my friends was we were doing we were doing a lot of blow and molly. I'm not gonna lie, and like acid, like we were partying all the time, and like we were out in the woods and we were doing this shit. And my buddy, we get in the truck to go do some, and like he's fucking high, and he's like, I want to be able to back out first, and I want to be able to leave first, and we're next to a cliff, right, parallel park, and like. He starts to back out, right? And he want, and he gets to the end of it. And then his back left tire falls off this fucking cliff, like shifts off. And then he tries to pull forward. And we just go, chuk, 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 and then fall down. And then like, there's a little ledge that catches the tires, but we're looking upwards. And we're like, what the fuck just happened? And then we're stuck in this pit. And so we call people and they're all looking for our homegirl's fucking phone. Because she threw it and she was drunk because she was upset because we told her not to come because her ex-boyfriend was coming. But she wanted to fucking come anyway. Fucking Tamara. Fucking asshole. And then she ran around and we couldn't find her. So somebody put her missing persons report out on her and put our truck as the fucking truck she was in when it was the people who left the place early who fucking put the missing report persons report out. And they, she, uh, they brought her. And we were like, bro, nah, y'all are assholes for that. And y'all find out later why. But like basically... We're just sitting here. We got half the fucking crew trying to fucking find this chick who ran away and threw her phone into the woods drunk. And the other half of us are trying to get us out of this fucking pit. It's like a fucking 30, 40 foot drop in a truck that's two tons. And so we have to have a group of people go to a crew that was doing construction like two miles ahead. And we had to wake them up and have them bring their truck out to us and fucking bring it back to us. And then they tried to bring their truck out and chain it to us and pull us out with their truck. We almost broke their fucking grill. So they had to go back and get their excavator and pull us out with their excavator. Right? Yeah. And they did. And after that, we were like, fuck this. We're leaving. And so we left. And by the way, we're all minors who are all intoxicated, who are all driving. 
and there's there are miners in the bed of this truck and there is a cop following this truck the entire way home because there was a missing persons report put out on us and on that chick who is supposed to be in our truck didn't pull us over though that's good that's good yeah i don't know what to say i i'm truly lost for words at this point oh my goodness <laughs> bless you with jesus oh my gosh i, I don't know what to say life's kind of <laughs> life's kind of crazy sometimes you know what i'm yeah, saying it is you 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 shatter it what up in flames like the smoke of of the woo of the weed is like woo it's like oh my gosh this is classic this is this is yeah this is gonna go down history. there's one time i dropped 32 tabs of acid in like an hour that shit was crazy <laughs> what, what, was what was the sensation you had on acid i never partook oh i love acid acid was my fucking jiggy that was my shit when i was younger like that was my shit right there like it was weed and acid those were what i fucking loved like you couldn't fucking play with me like i would wake up in the morning and drop like four tabs did, did you when like, I was, like 16. Things? did you like see magical so, like, thing like it depends on what you're doing like because like i used to mix a lot of shit too because like i used to just get high because like i didn't give a fuck i was fucking just a homeless kid who was making three thousand dollars a week off these drugs and like fucking just doing them as well like and i grab and i was doing my schoolwork too every like twice a month twice One, a month like two days a month like yeah no and i was keeping all c's like i didn't give a fuck like like I graduated, I graduated a semester early and like while doing all this shit, like they teach about me in high school, well, allegedly because, um, because of the <laughs> LSD epidemic that happened during my time in high school. Oh, wow. Wow. But any crazy, wild, magical trips you went on? The woo, the um, acid? DMT, I, I yes. DMT I, is what I have those kinds of trips on. Acid is what different. Is acid is like, so acid is more like your walls are going to wave around. You know what I'm saying? And like, they're going to like, and like the craziest thing I've ever seen on acid was I was on acid and mushrooms at this time, but I was picking stuff up and it looked like bugs were crawling out from under it and going into cracks of wood that wasn't even like actual cracks. It was like, it was like a wooden table and like the darker parts looked like cracks in the wood. Oh <laughs> <laughs> shit, yo. Bro, my little brother literally came up to me and was like, I'm doing DMT with or without you. Same thing my homeboy said with the car. My little brother said to me about DMT and he said, if you're not going to do it with me, then I'm going to go do it with one of my friends. And I was like, you're a fucking little shit. Fuck you. Huh. Oh, oh my like, goodness. My little brother, he's a, he's just like me, but he's just like, He's just more of an asshole, I'm not gonna lie, but he's cool. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, right, brother? Oh my goodness. Um, I, I'm just amazed right now. I don't know really what to say because I never partook in anything like this. Oh my goodness, bless you, Jesus. Bless you. Oh my God, bless all my sinners. Jesus is a sinner, but we love Jesus. He's good. Hey, he's hey, good. here's my thing. I didn't die for nothing, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I die oh for y'all sins. Oh my gosh, you are a trip. Oh my goodness. Um, so party boy all throughout school. Um, all that fun jazz. Um, how about how about okay? How about fun wild dates? Spill the tea. I think you have some fun wild dates. Um, I mean, I took my ex to a rave that was cool like like a three-day it was a three-day event like in the woods where there was no service so like you had to go out and talk to people and there was like a creek there and like my plug was the person who was running the rave so i gave him like 160 bucks and he gave me a fuck ton of shit because like it was my birthday and so we just we got fucked up at this rave and it was so lit right dude it was so lit oh my god but like she almost fought this one chick because she was trying to hit on me. <laughs> oh 
it was, it was a cool experience, but I got too high for the main event because I did way too much shit. And like I hid in my tent for the entire thing <laughs> for the whole main event. Oh no. Who was the main artist? Uh, it was so it was just a bunch of different people like who like they were all smaller artists who just wanted to come out and perform for like a big venue and I didn't remember any of it. I was fucking lit. I was lit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That had to be fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it, do you drink at all? Yeah, I've got Jameson right next to me. Oh my god! <laughs> you are just... Alright, back to more fun... Uh, oh, uh, a drink of choice and we'll go back to dating. Drink of choice. Oh, whiskey for sure. Okay, okay, whiskey. Uh, beer, wine at all? I like, okay, I'm not even gonna lie, I like bitch beers because, like, them bitches just taste so good and you can drink a six pack and oh not God. feel it till you stand up, bro. You don't feel them bitches till you stand up. Like, catch me with some smearing off ices, bro, and I'll be fucking faded off that six pack in like 20 minutes because I'm gonna down each one in one drink. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, um, it gets back to the dating. All right, that's one wild one. What about your craziest date something like oh my god that really happened that girl stole my wallet i don't know something is crazy uh, over the top. so it's like i wouldn't I even call this like oh, i wouldn't true. even call this like a date because like i've never really been on like a lot of like dates but like i was on my way home from work one time right like i was on the i was on the bus right i got on the bus okay. and then this chick she was like a fucking Bus 15, like, you don't see these chicks get on the bus, like, ever. You don't see these chicks get on the bus. And she just comes and sits right up next to me, I swear, and just looks me dead in the eyes. Her name is Caitlin, bro. And, like, I look at her, and I'm like, hello? And I take my earbud out because I was listening to music. And then she's like, hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm like, what's up? I'm Adam, because that's my name. And then she was like, and then she just put her hand on my leg. And then she just started making out with me. And then like, she was like, I live here. And I was like, dude, you're like two blocks away from me. And then I was, and then she was like, here's my Facebook. And I was like, all right, bet. And then like, I met her at her house, which I don't know whose house it was. Cause it wasn't her house, but we smashed. And then she went to my house for the night. And I don't know, I got really drunk. But, like, I guess we smashed again. And then, like, she went home at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my gosh. I was like, what? <laughs> but then I ended up seeing oh her gosh. again later. She was crazy. That chick was crazy. Like, I kicked her out of my house at midnight one time because she wanted to start yelling at me over chili. I didn't even know her like that. I didn't. I didn't even know her like that. You can't yell at me over chili. She wanted some chili. Trust like, me, Pope. Like I, I get, get it. My three things are piercings, tattoos, and daddy issues. I love the trifecta of toxicity. Oh my gosh! Wait, she wanted chili. Did what? Did you like eat her? Well, chili no. I something? gave her chili, but she was mad about the chili I gave her. <laughs> she didn't like it. Because it wasn't from Wendy's at the DoorDash. I didn't have fucking $20 oh to God. spend on chilies, bro. I've, like, I didn't have fucking $20 to spend on chili. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. That's funny. That is funny. Oh, my. So I kicked her the fuck out of my house. I, I threw all her shit on my front porch. And I was like, get the fuck out. I don't care where you're going, but you're not staying here. You can ask my grandma. She was laughing the whole time. We, well, we got we got G's in the house. Our feature of spill the tea, and he is shattering the cob. Just phew, smoke everywhere, literally. Woo! Bust up in the flames. We got Chili Ridge. Swear to God. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! We're spilling some tea here on Spill the Tea, guys. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. This is the most shocking. Oh my goodness! Wow! Bless these sinners. Spill the tea I've ever seen and witnessed, and y'all witnessing right here live. I didn't now. die for nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Puppets, though, right? I'm sorry, what? 
I'm thinking about getting puppets. Oh, I like that puppet. So, like hi, that. my name is Clarence, and I'm his mother, Brittany. Or wait, sorry, last night I had a friend who said I can't be Brittany, so her name is Linda. Like, listen, Linda. And then, like, okay, and then his dad's dad, right? And then his inner demons that make him commit crimes. That his parents have to clean up, otherwise... Their child goes to prison. Oh my god. That's cool, multiple puppets. I, I could see that puppeteering. That could be fun. That could be a real gimmick. I like that. Puppeteering. It's like an adult <laughs> swim show, but it's gonna be on Beagle. Maybe I'll get bought. I like I like that. I do. I like that. A, yeah, definitely. We Jesus and the and his and his puppeteering friends. <laughs> I yeah, love it. The baby has a demon, but the parents have a we Jesus. Oh my goodness. All right. This is probably a, a simple one here, but when's the first time you had marijuana? I was like 10 years old, I think. Uh, my dad called me into the room and he was like, hey, try this. And I was <laughs> like, all right. Wait, no, that wasn't the first time. The first time was with my aunt. Sorry, I was also drunk the first time I ever did anything. I was like fucking eight. Sorry. Um, but like my aunt was staying with me with her boyfriend and they wanted to go to 7-Eleven. This was the first time I ever smoked weed. This was crazy. So like we were walking there and it was like a two mile walk to 7-Eleven. And they, like they snuck me out with them and we were walking together. And then like. We were walking home and they both got themselves a 40 and one of them gave me theirs and I drank fucking half that bitch and I was like eight. And so I was fucking just drunk as fuck. And then we get home and then they get some weed from my parents and then my parents fucking give it to them and then they bring me in the bathroom and they're like, here, hit this. And I hit it once and I just <laughs> cough oh. and fucking die. And they're like, no, 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 hit it and hold it. And then I was like, what? I'm just fucking dead. What? And then they're like, hit it and hold it. And so I did. And then I was fucked up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, wow. I, I just don't even know what to say. That's wild. You're the naughty Jesus. Naughty Jesus. That's my new name for you. Naughty Jesus. Oh, you want to hear some crazy <laughs> shit? Okay. So like when I was like, oh, yeah, so I like, so like when I was like five or four, right? We had DHS coming to my house to talk to my parents about something. And, like, my parents have been teaching me, like, Bible verses and, like, teaching me all the, like, Christian little good kid shit. And, like, yeah. I had been practicing it for, like, the past week, right? And then as soon as the DHS worker shows up, I run out my underwear and I'm like, skeletons, skeletons eat people. And then, like, my parents had, like, weed stuff in their room. And they at the DHS worker had asked my parents if I go in there. And they were like, no, we keep the door closed. And then they asked me and I said... And they're like, do you ever go in your parents' room? And I look at them and I go, only when they're not looking. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just wild. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, you left me speechless, Jesus. Speechless. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. <sighs> um, wow. Ah. So... I, I don't know. I don't smoke. I think you you can kind of tell I don't like smoke um, or anything like that. But um, like, do you partake? I do you consider yourself um a bonger? <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> I don't know. I mostly smoke weed. Um, I mostly smoke dabs, which is like concentrate. So like, weed is like twenty eight percent THC at like a good level, but like dabs are like seventy eight to like ninety. Oh, that's, well, that's a lot more. I just I'm be, good at math. I smoke. <laughs> I, I was good at quarters, eighths, ounces. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what I was good at. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, like, yabba dabba do. That's Jesus. Damn right. We are here kicking, like, the Flintstones daily. <laughs> Fucking taking a yabba dabba do. That's what I'm out here trying to do. I'm trying to function in the junction, baby. Of function, junctioning, junctioning, functioner. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, all day long, you puff the puff puff, basically? Good morning to night. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's wild. 
<laughs> Time to go. Yo, check out his website, get his merch, y'all. I swear, He's I got the up in here. I got the hoodie stoners look for, but they can't find. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, um, I do actually. I do got some of that right now. It's fucking fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, um, I, I never did this either, but uh, the edibles is is that really like? Do you ever take in the 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 naughty yummy? So yeah, I, I used to <laughs> I used to make a lot of edibles when I, I, I so I used I, to just so like okay so this one time I had a homeboy who uh. He basically did a really big bro for his family, and then they kicked him out right before it was done. And so we went and stole 110 pounds of weed. Holy weed. And oh my goodness. I basically got like six pounds just for being there. And like I turned a lot of it into like butter so that I could make edibles. Where did I get my microphone? What? I got it on uh, this one. I got it on Amazon. It's if you if you're on Amazon Prime, it comes with this live uh, sound card. Or on Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. it's like seventy bucks. But on but if you don't have Amazon Prime, it's like a hundred. Oh my goodness! But if you that, don't want to spend that much, phone. you can also get stuff like this off Timu for like 40, 50 bucks. These are smaller versions. I just got these, and then I wanted to get a bigger one, so I got this one like a week ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. I seem like you've done a little bit of everything. Like, what are some like jobs you did growing up? You um, did you so jobs I, I did. I did stop. landscaping for a couple of years. I was a plumber. <laughs> I worked in a rice mill for a little while. I sold solar for a little bit. I did apartment complex maintenance for a little while. Uh, I worked on a ranch for a little while. You done a little bit of everything, I think. There's not much you haven't done. I don't do I don't do fast food jobs or like customer service. I did a lot of construction. Okay. Have you ever done like the adult industry, like the porn or anything? I mean, like I sell I sell content on here. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, he does it all seriously. He's a, he's a naughty Jesus. My new nickname for him. I'm trying to Jesus. make an OnlyFans right now. It's gonna be called the Second Coming. Oh my God, <laughs> y'all, he, he, he's naughty Jesus up in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Any? Have you ever done adult films though? Plan to be on the big screen I mean, soon? Like, you know? I mean, like I like they've been made, but they've all been deleted because. People are people. People don't want to keep them, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna fucking. You don't want me to keep it, I guess. What if fuck ever, fucking asshole. But you know, they've been made before. Yes. Do I have any yeah, currently? Like no. And it, like any plans for your adult film star name? Like you think? Um, of? it would be it would be it would be the second coming. The second coming. Okay. But spelled spelled but a different way. Spelled a different way. I, I can. I got it. I got it. I got it. Say no more. I got it. Yeah. Um. Very nice. That's cool. That's cool. Um. Oh my gosh, you've done it all. You are. You are naughty Jesus. Naughty weed Jesus. That's my nickname. <laughs> naughty I, Jesus. I did. I just like. I when I, I was fourteen, the first time I ever did mushrooms, and like, I went to a hot springs the first time I ever did mushrooms, right? And like, I saw a bunch of naked chicks. It was crazy. It was actually crazy. Like. There was this porn star chick who showed up there and like her boyfriend wanted to beat the fuck out of us the whole time because like we were just a bunch of like teenagers staring at his girlfriend and like but like he dev he easily could have he had a shirt on that said catch me at the gym bro how about that like I remember this so vividly but like I also remember that like I was sitting there and she was changing bro and I looked up and there was one spot missing in the board where I could see and like she was changing I was like god damn that's fucking awesome and then a bunch of Amish chicks came in and got naked and started getting in the fucking tubs bro and we were like no fucking way because we were leaving like right then and then like as we were leaving and then like we were walking back because it's like a two mile hike to get up there right. And I swear to god it's out of a movie we all have to take like a double take and look at each other because we don't believe it. 
but like crystal blue waters and then there's like sand and then there's two chicks naked just playing in the fucking water and we're like what the fuck is going on right now and like oh it was awesome. dope thank you thank you appreciate that it was, it was pretty you. lit but after that i was like Good. what a, what do other drugs do you know what i'm saying like oh! and then you are wild naughty jesus oh my goodness is there anything you have not done anything you have uh, not done mr wild naughty jesus no well not really like I've, I've, I've done a lot of things i'm not gonna lie i told myself i want to live life for stories because here's my thing when you're on your deathbed right That's true. That is true. Appreciate every single moment and live it to the fullest. That's all you can do. Live life to the fullest. And you definitely live life to the fullest. You're not you did great, naughty, bro. Like Kevin, that was lit. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I did. Oh. He was doing an audition. But oh yeah, no, like everything I've, <laughs> I, I just like. I didn't want to like live my life and look back on it and like regret not doing anything because i spent like i spent a lot of my teenage years like with somebody and so like during the last little bit of the time i went fucking crazy uh, that that's that's awesome that is you are wild naughty jesus that is my new nickname for you and i pick nicknames for everyone and you are the wild naughty jesus that is your name <laughs> wild naughty jesus uh, all right if you Love if you if Huh? I said, let's get into your music. I want you to tell all about that music. Spill that tea. This is your time to shine. Oh, well, like I got, I got a lot of like, I'm, I call it mental health music, honestly, because like, huh? well, like my generation of music that I listened to was like, Juice World, X, Mac, Peep. Like those are the people who like were coming up when I was in school, when I was partying and everything, and then all of the people who I listened to, died. that I listened to stopped getting made. And like, it was all the real music that was getting made because like, they were the people who were making music about shit that was really going on. And so like, I figured I'd start making music like that because like, I can't be the only one that's got a fucked up life. So like, other people can fucking relate to what I got to say, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, no one's perfect and that's what makes you you, you know, that's the reality. Um, so what you said, you basically your emotional impact. What is like, what do you want to just tell others about your music? Like what's the impact you want to get across? I'm here right now. So you can too, cause I've been through it. I know what you're going through. I understand it. Whether you believe me or not, I do. And I'm still here right now. So you need to be able to make it also. That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, so when when was it actually when you started take not nah, um making music? Like when was your first song ever released? I start. Uh, I was twenty. That song got like ten thousand streams on Spotify because I was in a contest mm -hmm. and I didn't even really mean to join. Like I was just joined the contest to like impress a girl and I didn't even expect to get in it. But I did, and then I was in first place the entire time, and I almost opened for uh, Kid Leroy, Doja Cat, Shawn Mendes, Black Eyed Peas, and Coldplay for my first show ever in front of 15,000 people. But I got cheated in the last 30 minutes, and the people who uh, were under me took the spot because I'm a solo artist, so I couldn't vote for myself, but they were banned, so they had four other people who could vote for them. I, I don't know if you know this, but I also sing country pop. Um, I've been in the music game for a long time. I have music videos out and all that jazz, which a lot of you guys all know. Um, but trust me, I've been in competitions like that. They snipe you the last few minutes and it's all, oh, don't get me started. I go on a rampage about that. But I, I raised like $6,000 for mm -hmm. uh, a, the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And like, 
it like I had I did like it was literally like I didn't I had nobody I was hitting people up that I didn't talk to since high school yeah. and like just like going out and telling everybody hey I make fucking music check this out check this out like I could fucking this could change my life and like I got six thousand dollars it was crazy that's awesome that's all. I love the meaning behind your music. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a lurker. I'm a peeker. And I be peeking in sometimes in your streams. I wanted to know a little about you. I was like, oh my god, I love this song. Like, it's music is great, guys. Y'all have it. Y'all go check it out. I'm serious. Um, it's lit. It really has a beautiful meaning behind it. It really does. Um, t I I heard a little birdie said you put out your first album. Is that true? Uh, so I've got. A lot of albums out actually okay so like i so as of recently my first like albums that are made like quality like actual good songs was released like two months ago because like every other song so all my songs before two months ago that are released were made with me right here Oh my goodness, we upgraded, we upgraded y'all, he upgraded. And so it's like, but like, it wasn't bad before, it was just like, now it actually sounds like something quality. Like I could show you the last song that I made with Earbud. And it's not like, it's, it's my favorite song I think I've ever released. I need to redo it. I love that. So... If you don't mind, I, I can show yeah, it to you. But. Definitely, definitely. Um, so, this song is called Matter of Minds. Y'all listen up. Please don't be an ad. <laughs> you son of a fucking biscuit. Okay, happy holidays. <laughs> Where do I go when I feel like I cannot see another sunrise? I go to crazy places in my head That only I could ever imagine This world will bring you down But you gotta be able to hold your ground Understand that you can stand tall now And don't ever feel Don't feel like you need to run away From those thoughts in your mind Your brain understand that you can be anything that you believe You can be the one To change the world if you want to You can be the one To end it all to it's all a matter of my state and where you truly want to be and how hard are you willing to fight for a different life i'm putting my all to everything i do now never stop this life i live it's been insane and I'm just so done with everyone Trying to tell me that I'll never amount to anything Cause fuck you, I'm taking everything that I believe I can I'm doing it all I will be on the rise I know I've fallen too many times I'm not stalling anymore I see my path and I'm gonna take this Can't keep score of all the times I've had to Try to fight With every thought inside my mind Nothing left in my heart, my soul, my chest It's cold and now I gotta try My memories, I don't know what to do Fucked up and I have no clue But I'm trying And that's all you can ask
and I love that. God, give it up for the one thing on the naughty, aka we Jesus. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Much that love. Was awesome. Oh my goodness. And that's the that's the last song that I ever released that has that was made. Oh my. What's up? Do Maya? you mind if we hear one of your newest ones, maybe? Your the most. So here's one that I actually just I actually just made this like right before my okay. live stream. Every day and night I fight with these thoughts inside. I don't know what I see Losing my mind Running away to You get what you needed For me up inside Feel like I'm screaming I love that one You, I like, you tell the difference in the microphone like, I like just dead. made that song Like literally just made that song That is so cool Do you do the instrumental too? Uh no So the instrumentals I use free for profit So that I can support like other artists as well Okay like, Very cool. here's a song that I just dropped like eight days ago. If you want to hear that, doesn't have no auto tune on it, so you can hear like how the yeah, go for it. Like actual. It reminds me. So this one's called Malone. anxiety. Gives that post Malone feel. Hey, and you're thank using you. into 150 stores. Please. All the major. I use Band Lab. It's free. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, much love. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I just, Amazing. I, I just try to make music for for the people who don't know how to talk about what they're going through because I know how it feels. I love that. That's beautiful. I love the meaning behind it. So I, I'm going to wrap up this interview, but I want to say, first of all, best of luck in each and everything you do. You are very talented. Keep doing you and never, ever, ever, ever give up because the best yet to come is belief. And thank you for your time. Much love. You're awesome, my friend. Bless you. And I think you really never forget your worth because you are a goddamn queen. Your fucking price. One. Yes. Two. Three. Boom, boom, baby. Boom, boom, baby. Let's go. We Jesus. Get up the Wee Jesus. The one, the only, the talented. The Wee Jesus. Give him a follow. Show him that love. Let's go. <laughs> boom, baby. And uh, smash the subscribe button. Boom, boom, baby. Boom, boom, baby. Till next time, she peace, love, positivity, and prosperity always. And of course, boom, boom, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Boom, boom, baby, much love. Blue T, he's awesome. Smash the subscribe button. Love you all. And of course, boom, boom, baby. <laughs> yeah, Lucia G World. Instagram, YouTube, The Clock, Facebook, Twitter, and more. All Lucia G World. Boom, boom, baby. <laughs>